Hi, so this is my video blog. Uh, my project, I called it The Game of Life. Um, it is kind of just a game representation of who I am to kind of get to know me. Um, I am being co-hosted here. Um, so, sorry if he gets in the way, but that is me. Um, so, a couple of things that I do like to say is if it was the rules of the game of my life, my rules are family comes first, show me your cards, no bluffing, stretch after exercise, and drink plenty of water. Um, so I'm going to kind of preview some games today. We have, we love the 90s trivia. The game Rotten Apples. In the game, what do you mean? So, starting with 90s trivia, I picked a card for 1990. That was the year I was born. Uh, another favorite card in the 90s deck was 1998. My little brother was born. Big part of my life. Um, I have the question... What Crittier video game did Sega release in 1991? The answer is Sonic the Hedgehog. Played that hours and hours and hours. Uh, the next one I have is which entertainment news magazine released its first issue in 1990? And the answer for that is Entertainment Weekly. I chose that question because uh, news was a big part of my life through my journalism degree at WCC and working with the Voice student newspaper. Um, my next question that I picked from the 90s deck was how old was Mother Teresa when she died in 1997? The answer is 87. I picked that because uh, religion, although it's not huge for me, impacted my family. Um, I have both Catholic and Methodist grandparents and influences growing up. The next game that I want to get into is the game of Rotten Apples. First question is, if you just can't handle blank, then this job just isn't for you. Uh, I work three jobs, and if you can't handle stress, then this is not the game of life for you. I wish blank didn't remind me of blank. Um, I wish good music didn't remind me of bad people. Uh, I connect a lot. Um, I may forget a name. I may forget a face. But I never forget blank. Bad grammar. Never forget bad grammar. Try not to hold you against it. Uh, there are times I think I would kill for blank. Uh, probably be peace of mind. Uh, so much going on in life. Uh, in my life, there's always room for more laughter. I'm always up for games, having a good time. Family, friends, strangers. Uh, usually become friends. Um, ew, gross, blank. Uh, broccoli. I'm an adult, but it's the one thing I refuse to eat. I tell my friends and family not to make it because I will not try it anymore. Uh, I've decided. Uh, everyone thinks I'm all about blank, and for the most part, they're right. Uh, for that one, I would have to say work. Um, I love everything that I do. I work for the college in online learning. I work for a massage. I do massage at a spa, and I work for a nonprofit where I do administrative work, marketing, and event planning. Uh, I love it all. Um, if I won the lottery, first I'd buy blank. I chose this question because I'm a planner and I always like to have a plan, um, even when they don't work out and then I'm upset. Uh, so I, I've never answered this question uh, and I take pride in that because who knows if I'd ever win. I don't really play the lottery, but if by off chance I do win, I don't have a plan for it. Um, what I did on my last holiday, lots and lots of blank, that would be eat. My family is a big food family, and I love cooking, and we had a lot of good food. Always do. Uh, whenever I'm down, the thing that cheers me up the most is blank. You met him at the beginning of this video. His name is Max. Um, he's now lying directly behind the computer screen and just kind of hanging out, being the rock. I, uh, I adopted Max when he was four. Um, he is coming from a home filled with allergies, 
and I mean you saw the face I couldn't turn him down so the last game I'm gonna do is called what do you meme so I'm going to show you a picture and I'm gonna show you the phrase that I related with it so your first image is this guy he is when you're mad at someone but then they ask you if you want some food yeah I want to be mad at you but I love to eat next one I'm gonna give you is this guy and the one for this is when you realize Taco Tuesday is becoming a problem uh, my friends and I we do do Taco Tuesday once a month um, we had standing girls nights once a week on Tuesdays and as life got busy we've reduced it to the first Tuesday of every month my next one is this lady because it's when you wake up after a night out with your phone wallet keys and you're not in jail college we've all been out and just been glad to have everything together the next morning we have this woman because when you thought someone was chill but you saw them put ketchup on their pasta yeah no I'm with Carol here and uh, you just lost all respect it's kind of a foodie thing and we've all learned this lesson when your mom told you to bring a jacket but you didn't and now you're freezing but don't want to admit she was right no mom this this sweaters I'm good I'm good well I hope you have all enjoyed getting to know me a little bit through those games and see you soon